I'm ready! I'm ready, I'm ready! I forgot something, I forgot something! Now I'm really ready! Now I'm really ready! Woo! I'm so excited to go to Glove World! I better meet up with Patrick before he forgets what day it is. Or who I am. Come back after my alarm goes off! I'm on a tight beauty sleep schedule! I wouldn't bother going that way if I were you, SpongeBob. Big traffic jam blocking the road up ahead. What? Then how is everyone enjoying food at the Krusty Krab? They aren't. See for yourself. I'm stuck here with the owners of rivaling restaurants, the Chum Bucket and Krusty Krab. Seems like a perfect opportunity to start a documentary about Bikini Bottom's best restaurant. I, 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 I. Good idea! A movie about how delicious the chum bucket is would rake in millions. Hey, you know I meant the Krusty Krab. Nobody goes to the chum bucket, unless it's to ask for directions away from it. Anyway, officials are still investigating where the nails that caused this chaotic collision came from. Maybe Mr. Krabs can help find the culprit. He did have a truck full of nails delivered the other day. <laughs> But we'll have to put some padding on that one, Sandy. Patrick and I are about to have the best day ever at Glove World. Do you want to come? Thanks. But you ain't putting no glove on this squirrel. I'd... But if you got a little time to spare, I could use your help hauling out some old junk from my yard. Anything for you, Sandy. I'm ready to haul, y'all. Uh, uh... Did I get smaller, or did these tinkies get bigger? Great job, SpongeBob! My yard's looking fine as fur on a frog! Thanks for your help, and have fun with Patrick! Beloved Bikini Bottom, the most perfectly perfect place in the entire universe. Good morning, best friend. Are you ready for a lovely adventure? Not. Nah. What am I? I stayed up all night pretending I had hands. An, An eternity later. Cool kids. <laughs> Hi. <sighs> I wish I could do cool things. This wagon just ominously appeared out of nowhere? Who cares? Mm, no, nah, still not cool enough. Huh? <gasps> Can I have this? What, this old piece of... Magic and mystery. Allow me to introduce myself. My name is Madame Cassandra, purveyor of long-lost treasures of the Seven Seas. For those on a budget. Magic bubbled soap. Breathe life into your dreams. They say with this unique bubble maker thingy, you can become whoever you want to be. Receive whatever you want to have. Just bubble your wish into the heavens. Not that it ever worked for me. Ooh! A few seconds later. I wish. No. I wish. No. I wish. Bones, bones, bones! 
Okay, my first wish is on behalf of my very best friend who loves balloons. I wish for Patrick to have the biggest, balloonyest adventure of his life. <laughs> balloons! Is it too much to ask for just one day of peace and quiet? How am I supposed to paint my newest masterpiece with you two clowns constantly giggling in my ears? I wish that Squidward will finally be appreciated for his art. What are you two up to? Wait for it. I wish for the whole world to see how amazing Sandy is. Thanks, SpongeBob! Nifty Bubble! <laughs> <laughs> Three hours later. <laughs> SpongeBob, what does it mean when it says, only those of innocent heart may harness the power of the mermaid tears? I guess it means I was destined to find this bubble soap. Hey, wait. It also says, property of King Neptune, not for use by mortals, use sparingly and with caution. Uh -oh. What have we done? Who would have thought that a magic potion from a mysterious fortune teller in a sketchy wagon could backfire? Yes, it was utterly unforeseeable. Wait a second! Patrick, you're a balloon! Oh, I wish. If I were a balloon, I'd be able to do cool stuff like this! And this! And this! See, SpongeBob? Oh. I am a balloon! That's probably why I've been feeling so bloated lately. We need to find our friends and make sure they're all right! Good thing Squidward is such an even-tempered fella, or he might get upset about this. I like it because it's squishy. Oh no! My giant sticky notes are gone too! Don't worry, Patrick. I'm sure those sticky notes are around here somewhere. Or there. Or over there. Ouch. Looks pretty broken. Wait a minute! Maybe all this craziness is from one of Sandy's experiments gone wrong! I bet it's all her fault! I don't think so, Patrick. Sandy's experiments always leave the smell of acorns in the air. All I smell around here is... <gasps> sponge breath and bubble soap. Oh yeah, that's the good stuff. Blech! So slimy! 